Hilary DeVay set up her own small business 14 years ago. When I started my business, I sold my house, I sold my car. In the first three years, I made my first million. Hello, Gary. Hello. <laughs> we meet We've again. Met oh. I'm your business expert. <laughs> now Gary thinks he's created a show-stopping idea that could take the events world by storm. Your branding of wow is fantastic now. It's all my receipts. <laughs> Your body language is all wrong. I'm being honest with you now, my credibility's on the line here. If her receptionist worked for me, she'd last about 4.3 seconds. Everything I've got had gone into this venture. So, you know, my car, my home, uh, everything. Failure was not an option. The gamble paid off. Her freight distribution company now turns over £100 million a year, and she's one of the UK's most successful businesswomen. My concept actually revolutionised haulage overnight. My vision was that we'd be the number one in the sector. Um, and I was quite brave because part of my marketing strategy was then the number one pallet network. Um, and I had quite a few of our then competitors who tried to emulate what I'd done approach me and say, well, how come you're the number one? Well, I, I used to say, well, well, can you prove we're not the number one? Um, you know, you can be number two, but we said we're number one, so now we will be number one. Twelve years ago, when I was founding Palex, I'd calculated that I needed, a strange amount, £112,000 to get my business up and off the ground. I wrote a business plan. I went off to see the bank manager, who... I think was a total misogynist. He patted me on the head and told me to go home and wash the pots and look after my child. I walked away from that bank even more resolved and I thought, Hillary, find a solution. I then phoned the estate agent. I said, come and value my property. He came. One o'clock we had it on the market and by the following week I sold it. And I then got a brand new Granada car, which was my pride and joy at the time. Um, that had to go as well. I sold some jewellery and I sold other bits and things and I ended up with £112,000. I had to now overcome another difficult task. I had to recruit my haulage network. It took me seven months to get Palette started and during that time, my little old banger and myself drove approximately 2,000 miles every week visiting every postcode in this country. I rented a flat above a fish and chip shop um, which the heating switched off when the fat fryers switched off at night. The windows, you would have half an inch of ice on them in the morning. So I tinfoiled all the windows at night. I'd be there before we went to bed, Tim. And then I thought, oh, God, my son looks cold. So I tinfoiled him as well. So, anyway, I was up and running. I eventually got up and running. And I launched on the 29th of November 1996 with me 30 hauliers and a bit in hut and this little porter cabin in the middle of nowhere. It didn't even provide me with the basics of life. It had no running water, no toilet facilities, no electricity, no offices. So what do you do, girls? You compromise. I hired porter cabins, hired a generator, hired chemical loos. As I could only afford two chemical loos, which I shared with 30 burly lorry drivers, I sat cross-legged and learned excellent bladder control. <laughs> Within 12 months, I'd moved from that site and I'd gone to a huge site, which was the British Gyps, old British Gypsum Distribution Centre. Five years down the line, I got the opportunity to buy some land, which I did. Uh, and two years subsequent to that, I actually built where we are now, state-of-the-art purpose-built hub. We employ, just in Leicester alone, about 300 people nationwide there are over seven and a half thousand people associated that wouldn't be employed but for Palex and in various depots that we own around the country we probably employ about a further 120. I'm actually a millionaire. <laughs> right, cool. <laughs> it's not material possessions that matter, it's people that matter. And what I want to do is to replace your funding that you've lost. Oh, no. 62,000. It wouldn't bother me if I had to do it again now. Concrete jungle. Grey and dull. If I lost everything tomorrow, 
and this is where I ended up, I wouldn't be here for very long.